Gee, Uncle Scrooge, you mean there weren't any ghosts down there after all? That's right, Louie. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with the giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Wibby darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle, Uncle Scrooge! Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McDee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour and I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy! Oops. <laughs> Uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay. You're the boss. Now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. 
I've got to find those pieces fast! Glory! <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. Wonders never cease. Launchpad, that crate looks almost airworthy. Don't crack up what you can't fix up, I always say. Any luck finding that fuel regulator? Oh, no. Some wee beasties ran off with it in pieces. They've got to be down there somewhere. All right, but I'm gonna need it before I can finish any more repairs. Is there not something else to keep you busy while you wait? Nope. Good. Enjoy the downtime, then. Gee. Thanks, boss. Because I'm docking your pay till I get back. 
Gee, thanks. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Bubba Duck! Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Whoa, what happened? Scooch! Ooga Ooga! Scooch save Bubba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scooch save Bubba! Scooch save Bubba! Scooch save Bubba! Scooch, save Bubba. Bubba help Scooge! Bubba help Scooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! This is 
the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye, launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Look of the ducks! The last one! Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. There you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, ought to do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergale, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Strap in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat! Only you could sink so low! And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me! <laughs> Launch pad! Here comes a ten megaton finder's fee, McDuck. Ah! <laughs> Scrooge! One old duck with a cage shouldn't be any trouble to take down. How dare you! Ouch! Hurry, you fools! He's catching up! Drop 
spit on this much stuff. You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers, there it is! Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the Lost Crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go! Don't worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad?
Abby. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. Did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> She likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why, Dolph, no answer, Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby, sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember? Kindness and patience, Webigail. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? <laughs>